Hi, Joachim here from Inner Space Explorers. Today is um, a very recreational topic, um, but I recently watched a group of recreational divers from a dive or together with a dive school preparing their gear. And um, it's, it's something I wanted to talk about for a while and actually brought this topic back up. And it's the mounting of these swivel first stages, uh, very famous from Scuba Bro, Mark 10, Mark 20, Mark 25. And there's a couple of brands like Atomic and a couple of others that came up with a very similar design. And you have this um, swivel down here, uh, which makes the first stage relatively long. And um, yeah, I wanted to talk about how to mount these in my opinion. So um, this is not wrong or right. Um, but I see this a lot and I was always wondering why and um, so let's have a look about this. Before I talk about uh, the first stage, so if you like my content, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you have not done that yet. And if you subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you get informed when I upload new content, which is normally once a week. All right. On purpose, because this is a recreational topic, it's not about DIR or anything like that. I just on purpose picked um, a classical jacket, old one, I actually bought this for another video, um, which I link here. Um, and I put this um, Poseidon regulator on it because that's a very compact first stage. And again, it doesn't matter what brain it is, but this is a very classical setup. So the hoses come out here. And uh, as I said, it's a very compact stage. So all good. I mean, obviously in a technical configuration, you would not want to have these big loops. You would probably rip the hoses more downward and then for, um, to the front. But that's not the point here. Um, let's talk about this one. So, first of all, and that um, comes along, it's how high do you mount your BCD or your wing jacket or whatever you want to call that on the tank. I see them in all kinds of configurations and either the first stage ends up in your head or you can't reach it. So why you have to reach it, we'll talk about in a second. So as a rule of thumb, the hardest part here should be on the lower part of the valve. So I think this is very easy to uh, remember and uh, that gives you a rough idea of the height that you would want to mount your buoyancy device on that tank. And now let's talk about these first stages. So this is rigged um, in a DIR setup uh, and that's why that port here on the swivel is um, used for the long hose so just ignore that hose I don't want to take it off now but what I see a lot is that people mount these first stages like that so the swivel pointing upward so then obviously it's not this hose the hose goes to the side somewhere but that's what I see a lot like that and I've been always wondering why you want to do that. I mean, first of all, um, this is something that will always go on your head um, if the tank is in the right height on the BCD. So I, if you look at this now, um, this will definitely hit your head, right? I mean, if you have this, it's very uncomfortable. Um, as a result, people tend to mount these tanks lower on their BCD to avoid this. And the second thing is, this is the most vulnerable part of the first stage because this has the swivel, there's an o-ring in there. And um, if I go through a wreck or a, I don't want to call it a cave, but some sort of overhead, I mean, this is what will hit the ceiling and that's definitely not what I want. And as I said, I saw a recreational group recently and uh, they were together with an instructor preparing their gear and they had all Scuba Pro, so they had all these first stages. and I. I asked them, I said, hey, just can you do me a favor? Why do you mount the first stages like that? And this guy came up to me super friendly and said, well, it's very easy. Um, when you look at the first stage, there's uh, the number and the type here. And he said, that's how you can read it. So the orientation of this writing here indicates <laughs> the way the first stage should be mounted. And I was like, all right, thank you very much. Um, 
if you look at the ports, <laughs> it says Scuba Bro 300 bars, so the orientation is completely different. I think the, the orientation of this riding has nothing to do with what Scuba Bro thought or any other manufacturer thought when they uh, made these first stages on how they should be mounted. And I would always recommend to mount these like that, right? So with this long hose here, I mean the long hose, the way we do it um, goes down on the side. I'll just put that on here briefly. Um, so the, 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 the first stage goes a little bit square, um, which makes this very nice and, and compact, right? So if you would use it in a regular configuration, like the one that I showed you before, with just the regular hoses. I mean, this would go straight down and you would have the hoses coming out like that. But this part here is super smooth and compact. The vulnerable part of, or the most vulnerable part of that first stage is in a secure place behind the wing, between the wing and the tank. So no problem at all. The hose routing is much nicer. You don't have the hoses coming up like somewhere here, but they come round about at your shoulders. And you can mount the tank at a height where you can reach your first, uh, your, your, uh, your valve knob, right? And why would you as a single tank driver want to reach your, your valve? Because um, obviously you don't want to turn it off, but you may want to turn it on. Um, there's two things I have in mind when, when I'm teaching um, beginner classes, that's always what I tell them. The first thing is you're somewhere in a dive boat you do an entry and some clown on the boat shuts off your valve and I've seen that a couple of times. You open your valve, there's a dive master or whatever on the boat who checks the valves of the people going in and he accidentally turns it off instead of on. So you jump in maybe a negative entry, high current and you realize you can't breathe. So the, what do you do? You can't inflate your BCD, you did a negative entry, you start to sink and you're tanks closed so you want to be able to reach back and open your valve you want to be in control of your gas supply the second thing is and i've seen that in florida on a, i think i mentioned that in another video in a high current dive where we descended on a wreck and we pulled ourselves down a rope and that rope went underneath the knob here behind me so I down the rope and the rope went up here and underneath the knob and it rolled the knob off the tank off so to speak so same thing that you have in cave diving when you go along the ceiling the ceiling is basically doing this yeah and on the left side that can cause a roll off but if you have a rope underneath here and again i saw that a couple of times in florida um wreck of the u.s strain for those of you who dove it know what i'm talking about sits in the middle of the gulf stream and you really pull yourself down and there's a, a davis high current and there i saw that same thing you want to be able to control your knob. And in my opinion, that's essential anyway. You want to be self-reliant. You want to be able to reach back and say, okay, it's on, off, and fix that issue. Anyway, that was a short one. I just wanted to point that out because I, yeah, I see this so often and it always makes me scratch my head. It's nothing about wrong or right. In my opinion, that's better way to mount these first stages and i hope you like that if so i'm happy if you have other ideas comments ideas put them in the comment section other than that stay safe and i'll see you next week